Hi, um, I am posting a video on my Flip Mino HD model number M2120. Uh, for a while it's been just collecting dust in my drawer because I keep getting that flashing red light. I barely use the thing and I uh, was pretty upset that, uh, you know, that I was getting that little error here and it just wouldn't turn on or anything. And um, I tried the whole reset where you put a pin right here and hold the power button and just let it charge overnight. It still wasn't working. So what I decided to do was to order a new battery uh, on eBay for like $16.46. The, let me show you the original battery. The original battery is this one. I hope you can see the serial number. Just so that when you order a new one, this is what you're going to look for. Um, so now I am going to remove these two little screws right here under the sticker. I could just take off the sticker, but I figured I just, well, I still want to keep it on here. Um, there you go. So use a small precision tool to just remove it. And this one as well. Now use one of these guitar picks or these little software removal tools. They go along the edge right here. Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to record and do this at the same time. And of course, drop it. Sorry. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> so just run it along the edge here. I use the guitar pick first to kind of loosen it up. And honestly, when I did this the first time, it was super simple. So, let me get down here. And show you. Turn it out. It just opens up really easily. Um, and here again. Sorry, my... There you go. Now you should be able to pry it open like this. Let me adjust my camera one second since it fell. Okay. Keeps falling. <laughs> okay, I'm back up. Alright. This is what it looks like open. Now what you want to do is remove this. There's no clamp or anything. Just uh, with your fingers gently or use one of these pliers pull it out straight try not to rip that cable put that aside and then use this to gently pry this off um, and it flips down like so so it takes a little wiggle uh, there's tape underneath it uh, right now it's loose so I didn't put tape uh, back on it. Okay. Comes down like that. See the tape? Okay. Now you slowly pry this part down as well, or off, um, right here. It's clipped on. Careful not to ruin anything. What's that? Both of my hands is kind of hard. Okay. And trying to balance my phone is what I mean. Okay, so lift that up. There. See, that has a double sticky back as well. So it's hard to take off. Now this, remove the tape, and 
remove the tape and you see that black little flap it goes up and um, let me just take that off put that aside now here are the screws one two three four I don't like using those magnetic tools when uh, doing with electronics, so I usually just use these pliers. Or sometimes I go ahead and use it just depending on the location of screw. But anyways, <laughs> um, the only thing that's holding this whole board in is this HDMI. So what I did was. I kind of push this down this way, lift this up a little bit. Okay, you see these two wires? They're still soldered onto the board, and so is that one. So be very careful not to uh, damage it. So I just kept playing around with it. See? You know, it just comes up. Then I push that way. A little wiggle. See? And then eventually gives way over here. Uh oh, I turned it on. That's because I changed the battery. With the old one, it won't, since the battery's dead. So just slowly lift it up, do that. Unplug this battery, slowly. Try not to tear anything. So I did this. Use pliers too. Now, I was able to move this like so. You see that cable is taped onto the battery. Sorry if it's a little dark. So you untape it, and then you have more leeway. Got it. Now, you have these two screws right here one and two. And you just take that off. This isn't a magnetic tip, but it's sort of acting like one. Um, and there you go. Take those two screws off. And this, you need to pry it a little bit because there's a lot of tape. And there you go. This is the new battery. You see how there's much, there's a lot, there's a big gap. But it works perfectly. And what you do with the old battery, you just take this off. And put in the new one. If you want, you could put a new battery in, but I decided not to. I'm just being lazy, and plus it's pretty tight in there, so that would be fine. So put it back up against that, those two edges. Go back in like that. There's these little posts right here that it just lines back in. And assemble everything just exactly how we took it off. Paste that back onto here, tape that back onto here, and voila, it's working just like new. Hope this helps.